Hey guys and welcome back. If you are also having the same problem that the Windows security app is not opening up or working, then do follow this video till the end. I'm going to show some of the most common fixes one by one. So let me give a brief introduction before we get into the fixing part. This Windows security is a built-in security app that offers real-time protection against viruses and malware on your computer. If you are able to solve your problem, then don't forget to let me know in the comment section which of the steps work for you so that it can be helpful for other users who are facing the same problem. So let's see how we can fix this problem. The first step is to reset or repair the Windows security app. Now to do that, you just have to click on your start button and then look for Windows security. Then on the right panel, you can see this option app settings. So just click on this. So you can see this is the Windows security app. So just click on this three dot icon. And from here, you can click on advanced options. All right, then just scroll down. And then you are going to find these two options repair and reset. So just click on repair button and then click on reset button as well. It's going to delete the system components data on this device, including all the preferences that you might have set on your Windows security app. For example, if you have set any kind of firewall settings, those will be deleted. So after that, you just have to click here on reset button and your app is going to be resetted to the factory default settings. Then in the second step, you can reset the Windows security app using PowerShell. Now to start PowerShell, you just have to right click on your start button like this. And then you can click here on Windows PowerShell admin. Now once it opens up, you will have to write one command which I'm going to keep in the description of this video. You can just directly copy it from the description and then paste it here and then hit enter. Now once the operation is complete, you can just close PowerShell and then try to check if the Windows security app is working now. Then in the next step, we will try to restart the security center service. This security center service is a small program that monitors security settings on your computer. Let's see how we can fix that. First of all, we'll just have to hit Windows plus R key to open the run dialog box like this. Now here you just have to type services.msc like this and then hit enter and you can see this is the service center. Now you can observe that all the services are arranged in alphabetical order. So we have to scroll down till we find the security center which should start with S. So it's right here security center. So you will have to right click on this security center. And then you have to click here on restart button. Since in my computer, the Windows security app is working perfectly fine. That is why I'm not getting the option to click on restart. But for your computer, you will have this button that is restart active button. So you will have to click on that and let the security center restart for you. And then after that, you can just close the services center. In the next step, we are going to run the sfc scan now to do that you can just right click on your start button and then click on powershell with admin right now in the console you have to type sfc space forward slash scan now like this and just hit enter after the scan is complete you should see a message indicating whether or not the scan was successful then after the scan, you can try to run a deployment image servicing management scan, which is DISM scan. And then you will have to run this command. I'm going to keep this command in the description of the video. So you can directly copy it from there and paste and run like this. Once this operation completes, then you can copy the second command and then run it like this. Then after that, you need to run the last command, which is the restore health. 
So just run it. Now once the scan is finished, you can restart your computer and check if the Windows security app is working or not. If it is still not working, then the next step is to uninstall any third party antivirus program that might be installed on your computer. Now to do that, just right click on your start button and then click on installed apps. Now you can just check if there is any antivirus software installed on your computer. It may happen that someone else who uses your computer has installed any antivirus software by mistake or because they don't trust Windows security as much as they trust the third party antivirus programs. But in any case, just look for any antivirus software and if there is any third party antivirus software, just uninstall it because it might be preventing the Windows security app to work correctly. And once you are done with that, you can restart your computer and check if the Windows security app has started working or not. If it is still not working, then in the next step, we will perform a clean boot. It may happen that malicious third party applications or viruses are running on your computer and it can disrupt the Windows operations. So what we can do is we can start the computer in a clean boot state to check for malicious softwares. Now to do that, you just have to hit Windows plus R. The run command is going to open up. Now here you have to type msconfig. This is the one and hit enter. Now the system configuration is going to open up like this. You will have to click here on services tab. And then after that, you have to click here on hide all Microsoft services. Now all the services which are related to Microsoft are hidden. So the services which are started by other applications are visible here. Now what you can do is you can just disable all of them or you can choose which of the service you think is not interfering with your Windows security app. But I'll suggest to just disable all of them and then you can click here on startup on this tab and then here click on open task manager. Now these are the apps which are starting as soon as your operating system is booting up. Now from this column which is the status column you can see the applications which are still enabled like I have disabled these applications so they are not starting with the boot up of my computer but from here these applications are starting up with my computer. So what you can do is you can right click on these applications like this and you can disable them one by one and you can leave out the applications which you can trust like this one iTunes mobile device helper you can trust this one you can trust the Dragon Center which is provided by the MSI itself then the OneDrive is also by Microsoft Steel Series is also the inbuilt feature of MSI laptop in this way you can make out the applications which are provided by third party applications and you can turn them off and coming back to this system configuration here also you can choose which of the applications you think you can trust and once you are done with that you can just click on ok and then the prompt is going to ask you to restart your computer so you will have to restart your computer and once your computer restarts in a clean boot state you can just try to open windows security app and check if it is working or not if it is working then you can uninstall any softwares which you have installed recently because the chances are that the application might be infected with a virus or malicious content. So you can uninstall any recently installed application. But you have to do all of that once you are in a clean boot state. In the next step, you should check for Windows updates because Windows updates are very crucial for your operating system. And aside from adding new features and security patches, these updates also carry very important bug fixes. Now to do that, you can just right click here on the start button like this and then click on settings. Once the settings open up on the left panel, you have to click here on Windows update and then click here on check for updates. 
and see if there is any pending update for your computer. If there is any pending update, you should go ahead and install those updates. Then do a restart on your computer. If it is still not working, then in the next step, we are going to enable the background applications. Because disabling background applications is a very common method used by Windows users to make their computer run faster. And sometimes by mistake, we tend to disable Windows security app from running in the background. So let's see how we can enable it. You can just right click on your start button and then click on settings. Then on the left panel, you can click on apps. And then you have to click on installed apps and then just scroll down till you find this setting system components and then under here you will find windows security app so just click here on three dot icon and then click on advanced options and then coming under here you can see we have this background component permission and it is set to power optimized so if it was set on never you can use the power optimized option or you can make it always but this one is recommended so you can use this option just make sure that it is not set on never now in the next step you can try to fix windows security by rebuilding apps there are two ways to do this so you can try to use the first way and then if you're not able to complete the operation then try to use the second way now to rebuild applications by the first way or the first process you have to open your powershell in admin mode so right click on your start button and then click here on windows powershell admin all right now i'm going to run some commands and as usual i'm going to keep these commands in the description of the video so you can directly copy from there and then run it on your computer now after you run the first command you may be asked for your permission to change the execution policy to do that you'll have to press a on your keyboard like this and then hit enter all right And then we are going to run the next command just run it all right now once it is finished and you are able to run these two commands then you can restart your computer and check if windows security has started working or not if it is still not working or if for some reason you are not able to run these two commands then you can use the second process to rebuild the windows security app so you don't have to follow both of the process if any one of the process is not working then you can follow the second one but you don't have to follow both of them so let's say the first process didn't work for you then you'll have to follow the second process and then you have to paste the commands which i have kept in the description and after that you'll have to type a and hit enter all right then you will have to copy the second command like this and then hit enter so as you can see this is the error that i'm getting for the second process so which means the second process is not working for me so in the same way either of these two process is going to work for you that's for sure after that you will have to restart your computer and check if your windows security has started working or not in the next step we can perform system restore so to do that you can just click here on start button and then just search for system restore and then you can just click here on create a restore point then system properties window is going to pop out and then make sure that you are on the system protection tab now coming under here if the protection is on for your windows c drive which is the system drive you can just click here on system restore all right then click on next now you will have to see if there are system restore points available on your computer and then you will have to check for the restore point up till which your computer was working well and these restore points are usually created when you perform a 
major task on your computer like installing an application or uninstalling an application so as you can see in my case there are two restore points the first one is when i removed node.js now i have to try to recollect whether at this point when i removed node.js if the windows security app was working or not if it was working at that point then i'll just select it like this and then i will click on next and then i will have to click on finish my computer is going to restart and then restore to that point in the same way you can go through the list of the restore points and see up till which restore point your computer was working well and then you can select that restore point and then restore your computer to that point of time and hopefully that is going to solve your problem for good and if still nothing has worked for your computer then the last step is to perform a reset it is a drastic step so make sure that you have made a backup of all of your important documents applications and once you are done with that you can just right click on your start button like this then click on settings after that you have to click on system on this left panel then on the mid panel you just scroll down till you find recovery here click on recovery now coming under here you can see we have this option to reset this pc you can just click here now there are two ways to reset your computer the first one is to keep my files which means everything that you have on your c drive will be kept apart from the applications and settings and the second one is to remove everything if you click here then everything that is present on your c drive i'm specifically talking about c drive because to format or delete the content of other drives windows is going to ask that question later at this point of time windows is only asking us about the c drive so if you want to clean the c drive completely you can click here on remove everything then after that you have two options first one is to download a fresh version of windows and then do a clean installation the second one is to do a local reinstall which means windows is going to reinstall your operating system using the system files or the setup that is present on your computer if you have a stable internet connection and sufficient bandwidth then i'll suggest you to do a cloud download and let windows download a latest version of windows and then reinstall it for you so you can just click here like this then after that you just have to click here on the next button and then you will have to keep following the instructions as they appear on your screen to complete the windows reset process once the windows reset process is completed hopefully all the problems that you are facing on your computer is going to be resolved along with the windows security app so that's all for this video if you are able to solve your problem then don't forget to let me know in the comment section which of the step worked for you so that it can be helpful for other users who are facing the same problem. So don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It's free for you to subscribe to a channel but it helps me a lot. So don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.